IFLS, the Indonesia Family Life Survey, is a longitudinal household survey that was first conducted in Indonesia in 1993 and have since been fielded uh, four times uh, in IFLS 2 in 97, IFLS 3 in 2000, IFLS 4 in 2004, and the most recent one, IFLS 5, uh, last year, 2014. Uh, it is a multi purpose uh, survey, so with multi topics and that are designed to answer different questions from interdisciplinary uh, questions uh, about well being, social economic well being of uh, Indonesian households and families. Uh, in IFLS, um, every way we, we try to add more innovations to the survey, adding new modules that we think would uh, be very helpful in answering new research questions. So th the survey are, are, uh, is uh, hypothesis driven uh, in that sense. In the last two waves, we have uh, focused on adding a lot of questions that are related more to the issues of aging. So, for example, questions on uh, cognition, uh, um, mental intactness, and also physical bio bio uh, biomarkers that uh, are related to aging are, are, are being asked. This time we also add uh, uh, questions about personality, which we know uh, personality traits are very important and from recent studies related to um, outcomes in labor market uh, and, and schooling. So that's one of the key addition in this current round. We also have a number series, adaptive number series, which is part of the cognition battery that we added. And we also have added exit forms, which is a question that asks information about uh, when someone, uh, our respondent have died. So this question will tell you the last few months of their lives. We have added a uh, little uh, one or two questions about legal identity, uh, birth certificates, whether they did, uh, uh, and uh, uh, marriage certificate and uh, national identity card. Other modules that are added is related to subjective well-being. We add a question on uh, asking about uh, positive and negative effects which can be used to measure hedonic well-being and also uh, sleep quality, which is also very related to uh, well-being. I think uh, like any previous rounds of IFLS, uh, the data set is there uh, uh, to answer a lot of research questions, just a lot of them. The data are now still underutilized but with IFLS 5, we now spend over 21 years of people's life. So there are a lot of things that uh, we can do with that. For example, looking at uh, intergenerational relationship between uh, household members and then between family uh, who live inside the house and non coincident family. Looking at this relationship and how they change over time which is usually you cannot do using other kind of data sets. So uh, I think that is the huge advantage of, of the IFS 5.